Well, welcome back, fam. We're coming back to you with another video. Uh, and as you can see, we're going to be talking about Mark Daly and Kenya Moore and what is being said out there on social media now that she's putting out there on herself and her family with Mark. She's saying she can't talk to Mark's mother or dad. <laughs> I'm like, what? But let's get on into this story. Quick, fast, and a hurry. It was written up by Dave Quinn. He's operating over there, I guess, as a freelancer, correspondent, journalist. I have no idea. But he's working for People.com. And he put out this story on the Real Housewives of Atlanta cast member, Kenya Moore. He titles it as Kenya Moore says she was never privy to parts of husband's life as a fair rumor surfaced. Okay. She goes on to say or he goes on to write uh i just feel like there's always been this block up this block up of him not letting me completely into his life uh this is a statement from kenya moore verbatim kenya moore said of mark daly on sunday's real housewives of atlanta okay kenya moore has been known to bring up cheating rumors involving the significant others of her real housewife of atlanta co-stars in the past and on sunday's episode her arch rival nene leaks happily returned a favor during a group charity event leaks pulled castmates portia williams and tanya sams aside to repeat gossip that mark's or moore's husband mark daly has allegedly been on fate for more than once during their two years of marriage her second hand claims uh came just days after moore and daly announced to people that they uh were separating Listen, I was just reading on my phone over here in Kenya and her estranged husband. He's had multiple affairs, said Leaks 52, showing Williams and Sam a blog post. For Sam, the article was especially rich. Okay, considering earlier in the season, Moore had helped surface a rumor that Sam's fiance, Paul Judge, was at a bar flirting with a friend of Moore's named Shania White, the owner of Atlanta Bake Shop a how to cookie though judge and sam both denied the validity of the allegations more went as far as to bring uh white whom they dubbed the cookie later on the show so she and sam could uh talk face to face Weeks later, Moore 49 apologized to Sam for the drama, but on Sunday, Sam 41 appeared to have the last laugh. Maybe it was the cookie lady and Kenya was confused where the origin of that story came from. She joked after reading the blog about Daly's alleged affairs. Laughing herself, Leeks told the audience, it's very ironic how Kenya would bring the cookie lady to face off with Tanya and you've got your own cheating mess to deal with. Tanya, go find that lady and sit her right in front of Kenya's face <laughs> and I will be here for that too like Kenya explain yourself out of this one boo explain yourself out of this one we're going back to the article that was my sidebar it says and while Williams 38 shrugged off the blog's news as fake leaks stressed that she felt it could be true you never know she said <laughs> It ain't worth a shit, is she? Okay. Then it goes on to say, Leaks never bought, uh, brought the rumors up to Moore directly, but she didn't have to. Moore had already squashed concerns over whether Daly strayed during their time together, despite previously saying she had confronted Daly about texting another woman before their split in a conversation with people in October. Moore denied he cheated. See what I'm saying? You see how Kenya lies just come back full circle. But the the twirlers keep trying to take off for her and saying, "Oh no, oh no, T don't do that. Don't talk about Kenya. Hey, kill up Kenya up here talking about herself and not keeping up with her lies." Okay, I'm just saying that was my sidebar, not in this article. Going back to the article, said, um. I can tell you I've heard a lot of rumors about secret families. I can tell you that completely, uh, that's completely made up. There's no truth to that. She said in terms of infidelity or infidelity, I've had no proof of that. That's not our issue. Still on Sunday's Real Housewives of Atlanta, Moore did admit that there were things about Daly she didn't know. I just feel like he's, uh, I, feel, I just feel like there's always been this block up, uh, 
up with him not letting me completely into his life more said it's just a lot of things i felt like i was in the dark about there's a large part of him or the relationship that i was never privy to more added for example i'm not allowed to speak to his mother or father and if you don't know everything about this person's life you're not being let in she explained that she was working through their separation as best as she could but that's it's just been very difficult. No, Kenya, my sidebar would have been difficult would have been you having a child with this man after or before you knew he didn't want you to have any uh, contact with his mother or dad. Why would you even marry this man? Okay. Was your dad desperate, honey? Was your dad desperate to be somebody's missus? Okay. And having a baby by them. Girl. Anyway. Pitiful, pitiful, pitiful. Have some more high self-esteem, can you? Have some more high self-esteem, girl. But anyway, moving on from that, it said, I want to be happy. And I could have been happy in my marriage if I felt like Mark was in it to be happy as well, Moore said. One of my issues with him is like not being able to just have a conversation without yelling or anger or crossing lines. I'm like, I know it's not me. I know how hard I fought for this marriage. Sidebar, can you? Why couldn't it be you? Why? It ain't him all by himself. It's two in the relationship. It's two different people thinking two different ways. So why are you icing yourself out this and just trying to put it on him? It's always two sides to a story. And the story of the truth is laying in the middle. Okay? So get it together, can you? Fault yourself sometimes. Because you could have been a contributing factor of this wall that he let up. That you couldn't seem to break down. But anyway, uh, going back to the article, uh, let me see. She just goes on to say how she felt she fought real hard for the marriage. She just wasn't in it to win it with her. But going back to the article said, I stopped caring about my feelings. All I was doing was trying to be everything he wanted me to be and work through everything as best I could to keep my family together. Moore added, I have to do what's best for my daughter. I don't even care about me. Well, if you don't care about yourself, you don't care about your daughter. Can you get it together? Girl, you all, I told you everywhere but the right way. Woo, do we need to shake you every which way but loose to you come to your senses because you're not even making sense out here and you're talking to a rep reputable magazine and you all fucked up in the head pretty much okay you a chair oh you a head case baby you need to go seek counseling sit yourself down before you can make any rational decisions okay that's why i tell you you can't act either you can't act either but anyway going back to the article um she goes on to say Brooklyn has definitely be, been the light of her life. Uh, it goes on and give us a little history about when her and Daly got married, which was, excuse me, June of 2017. Um, Brooklyn was born November 4, 2018. Since they went their separate ways in September, the pair have continued to co-parent Brooklyn. Moore has also been open about the fact that she's hopeful they will find a way back together uh, one day. And I'm like, Kenya, 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 girl, I tell you, you're talking out the side of your neck. One day you with them, the next day you not. Okay, one day you up in them, then the next day you throwing him under a bus. Okay, I, see, see, that's what I'm saying. We can't be with you, can you? We can't root for you when well, you're not even rooting for yourself, baby. You just everywhere but nowhere. Okay, but that's all I have for this video, guys. That is all I have for this video. Y'all get down in them comments. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Is can you? Uh, crazier than Coco Puss, okay? Is she really fucked up in the head and she need to be doing something about it? Or do you sympathize with her? Do you try to understand what she's going through? I mean, help me understand, okay? Because it's really clear cut. If the man's not for you, get the hell on, move on. Many women have done this. They have loved, they have lost, and they moved on, okay? You can't make people love you the way you want them to love you. And you can't make people love you if they don't love you. That is a fact of life, okay? But anyway... 
that's it for this video y'all get down there and comment share like subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so uh if you would like to come a part of the family come on we get down here we chit chat we talk we talk shit now we, we make our opinions we ain't saying they true or not but it's just our opinions sometimes we get like-minded people on board with us sometimes we disagree to di we agree to disagree because everybody have their opinion but we try to be respectful in the chat section and we definitely talk about subject matter not the host that's me okay but anyway y'all like i said enjoy the video make comments you if you desire and i will see y'all next video be sweet to each other okay peace and love